What up, y'all? We're back. We're talking about my favorite of the new blocks. Maybe my tied for favorite favorite. Uh, this is the Shift Sequencer. It's so good. I had to crack another good beer. New Holland's Hoptronics. It's a double IPA. These guys are obviously known for their Dragon's Milk, which is a crazy bourbon barrel aged imperial stout. So it's good to see they do the hoppy stuff good too. Uh, so yeah, let's get into why this is so cool. After it, I should take a drink. Sometimes I'm forgetful. What is so great about this? It's so good for doing kind of polyrhythms and unique variations on a sequenced line. So if you're doing bass lines, maybe you're doing techno like this. Very Detroit-y since movement was just last weekend. Uh, I threw in the motor impact directions kit. We got a nice beat going and we're going to play along and we're going to load up reactor blocks. You don't necessarily have to start from scratch. What we're going to do is kind of get in here and use this shift run, which is a great, a great one. And this one called bad math, I highly suggest. What's it sound like? Let me record that real quick. So we got something to work with. Okay, what are we used to working with first? Let's look at steps. This is an ensemble using the Bento Box 8 steps. This was what we had to work with before. It's kind of a similar block to what we're going to look at, but I don't like sequencing by like letters. And also this goes real fast and maybe I'm going to mess up and I just, it's not as inspiring or it's not as fast even for me as something like this, where we're used to looking at a piano roll. Now we have a piano roll we can see. Uh, 16 steps, choose your pitch per step. Below it you have octaves. So you only have about an octave worth of piano roll here, but then you have three octave range that you can select from here. Velocity, very important. You want dynamics in there. So you want this thing to actually be like kind of lively. Uh, hold, if you want the slides and accents and glides like that. And then gate, just is, is the note gonna hit or not? So right away, it's it's for me, it's faster and it does everything I need it to do. You'll notice that these can go in the same directions like we were used to on the other sequencers. You just kind of hold up, it can randomly hit it. Uh, it can go forward, it can go backwards, it can go forward and backwards, bounce it back and forth. And what's important about this is when I go to range here, this is where you see the difference. You can select how far you want the sequence to travel on all these different tracks, if you will. So we have three, 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 and then we have eight. So meaning the octave is going to hit on different notes depending on, on where we are with the accent, with the velocity, with the gate. These could all be in different ways. And this is how you're going to get huge variation with this block. I absolutely love it for that. What I'm going to do I like this. This is my main one, okay? And actually, let me just open this up so you can see what's happening first. But I'm going to kind of make variations of this because you can see how just turning the ranges around is going to make this work. Let's get this cleaned up. Okay, a lot going on here, but really not much. There's only a few blocks. This will only cost you a couple thousand bucks to do in real life. But this is a this shows you what limited blocks can actually do for such a good big sound. You have Duality Osc running both the mod and the main like we talked about into one and two. And then you have a multi-wave also running into three. These are all pitch different. This is how you get a nice thick sound like that. And they're all being driven by the shift sequencer. Okay. And the shift sequencer, like the velocity level and everything is still even driving modulation, for instance, on the filter, all this good stuff. By the way, this Paul filter is one you want to use if you want to boost resonance without losing volume. <laughs> That's why it's more special than some of the other ones. You do that with Monarch filter, you're going to lose everything. Okay. So what do I want to talk about here? Uh, let's do variations of this. Okay. Let me turn edit off. You know how that's wired. What I'm going to do is hold duplicate on machine. And if I have this plus event checked, I can just duplicate it over. And immediately, now we're on two. And we've basically copied and pasted 
that same uh, MIDI data over. And now I have a second instance. So let's go, let's also duplicate this pattern. And on pattern two, we're going to delete the events off of pad one. And on pattern one, we're going to delete the events off pad two. Why is that? So check it out. We're playing. <laughs> this is the first one. And then I'll go select two. This is the second one on pattern two. So on pattern two, let's change this up because I like pattern one. I don't want to, I don't want to mess with it. Let's go ahead and uh, change where the octaves run. Now I can stretch this out for like five. Let's try that. Okay, that works. Let's go to the range now. Let's actually change these octaves. You don't have to just stretch things out. You can literally move the entire thing all together. I don't want any glides on this one. And I want to change up the velocity on this one. So let's go in the range and let's get a whole wide range of velocities here that are all pretty much on now we can make these go back and forth Pattern one, pattern two variation. So again, it's really just going to give you an option to not be so loopy overall and to, to really just kind of play with polyrhythms. Some are going in five, some are going in eight, some are going in two, some is going in one. Very slick. Really cool. So I'm just going to dink around a little bit more if you want to watch. I'm going to change some shapes so you can see what duality can do in a cool way. Let's see what we can come up with. And you can see how quickly you can mess it up, which is why I duplicate a lot of times. So play with it. It's a phenomenal sequencer. Thank you for a MIDI roll inside of our blocks. Cheers.